Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are welcome to your daily dose of scriptures. Our theme for this month is a new name. Our topic for today is give him no rest. Give him no rest. Our Bible text is taken from Isaiah chapter 62 verse 6 to 7. Isaiah chapter 62 verse 6 to 7. While our anchor verse is Isaiah chapter 62 verse 7. Isaiah 62 verse 7. I'll take it from the Amplified Bible. It says, And give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. God will establish you in the mighty name of Jesus. We have learned before that God calls individuals to be watchmen. He has also given us the mandate to tarry in prayers till we get results. In John chapter 16 verse 24, John 16 24, the Bible says, He that will have ye has nothing in my name. Ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. So for somebody watching me today, your joy will be full in the mighty name of Jesus. God does not want us to grow weary when we pray. In Luke chapter 18 verse 1, the Bible says, And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not faint. The entire story we can see in the book of Luke chapter 18 verse 1 to 8. In verse 7 it says, And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cried day and night unto him, though he be along with them? I tell you, he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, he shall find faith on the earth. So when we are persistent, when we are consistent and we keep asking, God will come through. And I'm praying for you. You've been trusting God for something. Don't give up. The Almighty God will come to you sooner, come through for you sooner than you expect in the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, the Bible says, If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin, I will heal their land. From the above, we can deduce that for answers to prayers, a few things come to play. One, you need to humble yourself before God. He is closer, is close to the humble. But when you are proud, God keeps you at a distance. He answers quickly when he's close by. Number two, you need to repent of known sins and ask for his mercies. Save my people will turn from their wicked ways. Say, I will hear from heaven. As you turn to God, God will hear you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Number three, you need to ask in faith. Ask in faith. Faith is asking, believing that you have received it, even when it is yet to manifest, and keep trusting God. You can't afford to have an alternative to God. And you can't afford to give up on God. He'll come true for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Number four, tarry in prayers persistently and consistently. Be specific. Be persistent. Keep talking to God. It says, He will answer speedily when we tarry in the place of prayer. Our God works in mysterious ways. Remember to give him all the glory when you get your breakthrough. Return all the glory to him, not to any man, but to God and God alone, because he deserves it. What happens after you, your prayer request is granted? If God answers your prayer request today, what do you do? Do you go to sleep? Do you abandon God? Do you stop praying? Do you stop living holy? No. You should still keep praying. You should still keep living holy. And you should hold on to God. Because we have one prayer answered. Another need is going to come up. And you want answers every time you call upon God. 
But if you are here to give your life to Christ, you need to do so first before engaging in other prayers. If you want to do so, please bow down your head, confess your sins to God, tell Him you are sorry, and ask Jesus to come into your heart and be Lord of your life. God will help you as you take that decision today in the mighty name of Jesus. Our prayer points. First one, you say, Father, please have mercy on me and grant my petition. Father, please have mercy on me and grant my petition. Secondly, present your request to God in prayers with thanksgiving. The Bible says we should make our request known unto God by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. And God will answer your prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. If you've been blessed by this message, please share it to someone and tell them that God wants to hear their cry. If you need prayers or you need counseling, you need us to agree with you, please leave a message and we will get back to you. God bless you. See you next time. Bye-bye.